So Q fever is an infectious disease. It's caused by a bacterium called Coxiella burnettii. Uh, Coxiella burnettii is typically acquired from animals or animal products, food that comes from animals such as unpasteurized milk or unpasteurized milk products, um, exposure to animals, uh, working with this organism uh, in laboratories, that, that type of exposure. The clinical presentations are quite varied. As you might imagine from the name of the disease, it can cause a febrile illness, so fever. Uh, it can infect many different parts of the body. One of the types of infections that we occasionally see in our clinical practice is something called endocarditis, which is a very severe infection where the heart valve is infected. Now, Coxiella burnettii is challenging to grow in the laboratory. It is hazardous to grow in the laboratory, and so there are not a lot of laboratories that are evil, either able to or will grow this organism. Traditionally, the diagnosis has been made based on serology, that is, detection of antibodies against this organism, and that's a very reasonable way of making a diagnosis. Um, however, it is indirect in that one is detecting antibodies against the organism. What we are now offering is a PCR assay that will directly detect this organism. So what we're doing is we're amplifying DNA of Coxiella burnettii in clinical specimens that are submitted for testing using a rapid PCR assay. So mm -hmm. um, what's done with the PCR is we can run this uh, test on a number of different specimens. So the specimen is taken and we uh, extract the DNA from that specimen, and then we submit that DNA to PCR. And with PCR, we're using primers that amplify a specific piece of DNA that we're looking for. In this case, it's a piece of DNA that comes from Coxiella burnettii. Uh, once that's amplified, we have internal probes that detect our product in real time. So it's a real-time PCR assay, which means that it's fast. Um, and tell us if we have a positive signal or not. And based on that positive signal, the result is reported out as either positive or negative if we don't detect any signal. Uh, this is an, a PCR assay, so the results are quite straightforward. It's either positive or negative, and it is not normal to have Coxiella burnettii DNA in humans. And so the finding of a positive result would be highly clinically significant and would need to be understood, of course, in the context of everything else going on with the patient, uh, but would need to be taken very seriously in terms of the patient's uh, care and management.